Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to It's Look Who It Is on the Screen Right Now. I mean, listen, you gotta start today's episode off with today's news. October 19th, uh, the release date for World of Horror. Now listen, I knew it, you knew it, um, s summer 2023 was pretty, pretty cope, right? Like, we were gonna get an update before the game launched on 1.0, and 1.0 was launching in summer. I I didn't I was always skeptical of that. Now I'm gaslighting myself to think like was the summer 2023 announcement was that like we're going to get the release date in summer of 2023 and they're fulfilling their end of the obligation, but the uh, I don't know, that seems like gaslighting myself here. But uh I don't know. You remember summer of 2023. I remember summer of 2023 it is now Halloween of 2023. Uh, which is, you know, probably more thematically appropriate, I assume. But listen, I was I was shocked. I was flabbergasted, okay? Uh, people were saying, like, uh, it's gonna be out on the PS4 and the PS5. Did we even know about that? Because, like, I remember the... Like, I, I was saying, like, the, isn't the Switch port gonna be, like, a fucking miracle? But, like, here we are. I, like, I had no idea there was gonna be a PlayStation port. Maybe we already knew that, but, like, I don't know. Because I remember some people were like, when is, it when, is it coming when is it coming out on Switch? When is it coming out on Switch? When is it coming out on Switch? And uh, that was always sort of like, uh, I remember back in the day, that was like a no-shot sort of thing. And then it actually got, like, announced for Switch, and people were like, whoa, that's crazy. But the, the PlayStation announcement just kind of, like, completely... Like, that, that just kind of completely took me by surprise. Random item statistics all perks scars on Goizo, huh? Interesting. That's pretty bad, actually. It's horrible. At least this is still the scalpel that we all know and love. I wonder if buying a scalpel, that, that scalpel would have a different stat, or if all scalpels are the same if you're playing on uh, Mimi. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, no, release date, huh? Release date, October 19th. That's a little bit longer than I was hoping for, uh, because, you know, obviously I want to use the new thumbnail when we when we get to 1.0. Um, but that's probably fine, right? I, I can just enjoy the thumbnail on, on my own, and then, why well, I, I did post it on the Discord, so you can enjoy it too if you want. It's a great thumbnail, it's beautiful. Um... But yeah, October 19th, huh? I mean, fair enough. Still, though, it's kind of surreal seeing a release date for World of Horror after having uh, covered it for so long. So yeah, that's when the, uh, the Early Access series dies, because it won't be in Early Access anymore. And of course, we're going to hit the reset, by the way. We're going to hit the reset and uh, just hit it big with uh resetting not only the episode number but the save file as well because we've been on the save file for too long uh light source strength your seconds knowledge charisma so everything but dexterity so yeah everything but dexterity which is pretty nice because we can do knowledge and charisma i'm pretty confident confident in that uh, do we want to try to get the, the HDF, or do, do we just kind of want to roll it like we use the scalpel? Uh, if we see that we have painting, we'll not worry about our weapon at all, and just try to throw all of our eggs in the scalpel basket. Which I know is kind of lame, all things considered, because it's random item statistics, and you probably want to see something wacky. But, um... I mean, it's fine, really. Oh, hey, I was about to... We give it one shot. Hell, coma. Uh, I mean, right there. There you go, painting. So we won't worry about uh, anything else. Actually, we might try to get... I, I, I'm i thinking, like, maybe we try to get a little bit of money uh, so that we can buy, like, a compass or something. But also, maybe we don't. Like, we could... I mean, but there's so many good things we could get. We could get, like, a... Like a... Well, I mean, a sea slot item would be, be the best so that we can get the plus one perception later and uh, actually use it. But, like, a camera would kind of go hard, plus one knowledge. Um, alternatively, alternatively, we could have taken a cult store and tried to get the 
the tainted violin or whatever it's called because that would go hard but i think it's probably just fine to i think it's probably just fine to say fuck it we ball now the the good thing about this is that we're basically not going to have to worry about getting into fights like we're we have my we're gonna have minus two damage towards us for the whole game right like that's pretty good like you can't really complain you can't really complain about i mean fat rat usually does five doom and it's doing three right now like that's pretty disgustingly good like any enemy that does three damage is now doing one damage to us an enemy a any enemy that is doing two damage is doing one um it, it's actually kind of uh kind of crazy just a little bit now opting into three percent doom outside of that is kind of nuts but i think we need to preserve our sanity as much as possible now we actually did succeed and I did make a mistake here because if we get into a fight on the second seaside investigation, I messed up. But we'll see what happens. I'm not entirely particularly worried about um whatchamacallit. Now we do need to rest. We we do need to rest. That's non-negotiable. Uh, and I know, I know we've got uh Gazoo. But uh we're gonna take minus three here, guaranteed. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty bad. We're gonna be on, we're on copium for a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean until our sanity, until we get first aid, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Oh, but we're on all perks. Oh, you piece. So whatever enemy we fight next, by the way, you gotta remember that for later. Same thing with the mystery. Now, what we can do is this, and it's still bad. We don't have to, since we're not doing the chainsaw, we don't have to do the second. Also, we can't do the second, we would die. Um, now, admittedly, uh, I'm not liking a lot of what I'm seeing here. And so I'm thinking we just do... I'm thinking we just do Household Hell. And also, can I tell you that... Uh, this game can go to hell because I mean we might die here but I think this is a risk we gotta take what happens if you, if you fail this it's doom right so we can just do it yeah 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 I don't really care about that uh, but with fetid fumes this got a lot harder like if we didn't get fetid fumes I would just rest twice and eat the 10 doom but now it's like we're fishing for a fight and then we're gonna like feed our stamina into the sanity engine I cannot believe what I'm about to do, because we just need to get, like, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, this is certainly something that I just did. I got two curses for two spells, which is probably the most detritus exchange rate you've ever seen in your life. We do not need a ritual dagger, but we do need to survive this event. Um, I mean, you know, maybe I do still eat the, the ten doom honestly or or five percent doom hear me out here let me cook um yeah the, this is pretty bad i i hate to say it to you but this is pretty bad we're eating that 10 doom and it's pretty tasty uh sure we're gonna explore the seaside again uh do that I mean, we gotta go in. Like, that's the problem with Old Scars, right? Is that Old Scars basically makes it to where uh, one of the le less threatening aspects of the game, uh, to an extent, is now not threatening at all. And the actual, like, killer of your run... Rumu goes second enemy, really? Okay, okay. Like, the actual killer of your run is um, even worse... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to regain one reason and then run away. It's the ancient technique that they've been passing down for generations. 
So remember Rumu Ghost and then Household Hell, because we're gonna... We're gonna certainly need that. This cannot be used for anything. Funny Mask is incredibly, incredibly good. We're very happy to have Funny Mask. Now, our Doom is looking terrible, but it's not completely incomprehensible. Uh, being locked in this mystery is hell, and we hate it here. Being locked in this mystery is hell, and we hate it here. Why do we have six? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're feeling pretty pretty bad about this mystery. I would like to get into, if that's okay, a fight. Oh, baby. A fight for me and you? You shouldn't have. Now, this is still bad, don't get me wrong. Uh, but if we use the go-go gadget broken bottle, 85, it gets even better than that. 95% chance... We don't waste these. We don't waste these. So remember Rumu Ghost and Household Hell. That'll be on the test for later. You gotta do this. I'm sorry. I like having money. I'm a money enjoyer. Uh, but at the same time... It's uh, not looking too good. Now this is still salvageable. Especially because we kept the bathtub. That's very good. Also, adrenaline is very cracked. But we're still looking at this, and we're not feeling too great. But now that we've kind of got some legs, we're going to the painting. Now, admittedly, we've got a, uh, a B-slot item already, so the flashlight is just for later. It's just security. It's something that we're... It's a surprise tool that will help us later. And we're feeling pretty good about that. Now, of course, uh, you can't beat the roll of a 12. A nat 12 will always fuck you over. Uh, and by that, I mean uh, you'd have to have... In order to guarantee that you don't get owned, you have to have 14 in a stat. Because that's the highest the game can roll. The highest the game can roll is 12. However... If the location's threat level is augmented. This is not good. Um, his ass is not fond of that memory. But, um... Basically, the highest number the game can roll is 12, because it's a D12 system, but the threat level can augment it by plus 2. So, that's basically it, really. We got very lucky there, just a little plus 2% doom slapping us on the way out. Uh, and by a very... I, we got incredibly lucky. Like, look at that. Like, that's good. Like, you can't complain about that. I mean, you can try, but you'd come across as ungrateful. Coin flip? Coin flip. Let's do it. That's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. I, I'm okay with that fight. Um, I'm okay with what just happened. 4% attack speed or bonus against humans. I don't actually remember if we have Akamanto, but I'll take the 4% attack speed. Like, uh, we've got... What is it? Adrenaline is... Is Adrenaline 16%? I actually don't remember. I know it's like 15, right? I, I, I genuinely do not remember at all. And, uh... That's kind of funny. Also, like... We're capped out on our sanity again because the game hates me. It's very funny. Coma and Bulletin. I mean, Bulletin is like the longest mystery in the fucking game, but like, Coma, we're gonna take minus three. Like, Coma giving us the minus three reason is just gonna like beat our ass, so that's what I'm a little bit worried about. Now, we're taking minus three from the lighthouse, unless we level up our charisma, but we would need leadership for that before I even, like, uh, entertain the idea. Because if we, like, I, I am not going to try and... How do I put it? I'm not gonna try and make it work unless I can do it in one level, because the 8 Charisma is basically getting us nothing, except for mitigating 3 damage at the end of the game. So if all it's doing is mitigating 3 damage at the end of the game, then we can take it when it's convenient, or we can take it at the end of the game. It doesn't really matter 
uh, to me one way or the other right now. So hit me with the block, and we're going to be able to attack multiple times. And we're going to be able to boost those attacks as well, and then we'll hopefully be able to kill her next turn. Now, I am I did forget that she was weak to sharp. That is true. And you can say, you know, you've played this game for 700 plus hours. How did you not remember that? Listen, I like using blunt weapons. I'm a blunt weapon main. I use strength builds, not freaking, uh, I'm not a dex nerd, okay? Now, we are incredibly worried about what we've got going on here. Also, that was a, that was a misclick. Did I have the Boris note in my inventory ever? I don't think... I, I think the answer to that is no. Uh, let's keep it... Well, actually, I put it in there, so yes. I had it at one point. Um, this is probably important. I remember Mimi's events are, like, very swing-heavy. You know what I mean? Medical trial... I should probably just commit these to memory, but they don't come up often enough. Um, I think excising the growth is pretty safe. I yeah, I think excising the growth is pretty safe because even if we lose the not the even if we lose the reason, I think that's still okay. Now we did take more damage than I was expecting to because you know when you succeed, uh, it's dangerous here. The reason penalty is increased, but that's okay. Because we're going to get plus one, maybe, from the, the funny mask. Uh, kindly grandmother? Let's go. Kind old lady. I don't know why I keep calling her a grandmother. She's just kind old lady. That, that's that's a uh, fanon in, uh, in my head. But, uh... I mean, I guess I'll carry around this just because it's, like, objectively more useful than something that you only need to have in your inventory for five seconds. Um, now this can actually kill me, I think. So let's just do a little bit of that. We got an injury. Broken bone. Minus one strength, minus one dexterity. That actually does kind of matter, like, a little bit. Oh wait, how many times do we have to go to the village here? Hold on. That's, that's a my B moment. We took... If we have to go to the village two more times, then that was worth it, switching it over to the police station. Um, one bite won't hurt. Yeah, true, true. Uh, it's just it's just curse signs. Yeah, no, I, I lost like 2% doom there. Oh no, the dog, it's twisted. Uh, I think we just kind of play it pretty similar to how we did before. The only problem here is that you're not going to be able to, like, you take the dog down to 18 health, then what do you do, right? Because this is 16. I mean, this would theoretically work, but you have to land every attack, and I'm not really about that life right now. So I think we throw something... But I'm not entirely sure what. We could also try dodging. Which makes it immediately worth it. If it misses. Oh, the dog was weak, huh? So we just need to land three of these then? We can- oh wait, can we actually guarantee this? Yes, we can. I'm dumb! <laughs> I'm dumb! I am- I- he, He's an idiot. I'm sorry, your honor, my client, he's stupid. What, what, what was I supposed to do? Think that I was doing six damage? Yeah, of course I thought I was doing six damage. Your Honor, my client is just, he, he's just dumb. He's just stupid. He didn't realize what he was doing. Hey, it's leadership. Um, Daddy's girl's really good. But I think we gotta mitigate the damage. Like, I said I would take it if it showed up, and it didn't show up to something that's, like, substantially better, and we still have our uh, bathtub, so... I mean, out of all the things that we're doing, we're doing it like that. We're taking EXP on fucking Mystery 5. Holy shit. 
So... I think this is the only investigation we have to do at the school, so I'm not- I, I think we're fine. I, I think this is the only school investigation that we have to do. And then after that, we're home free. Because I think it's just like hospital. It, it's bouncing you around between the downtown and the hospital for the rest of the game. So, uh, we can do either of these. Let's try to do our knowledge check because, you know, we're, we're a knowledgeable person. Look, look at the, the mask on Mimi's face. Doesn't she look like a knowledgeable person who knows exactly what she's talking about? Um... What was it? Rumu Ghost and, uh, Household Hell? Vaguely? <sighs> but, uh, yeah, no, we're just- we're just chillin'. We're just- we're just chillin'. 8% attack speed, a second ally has hit the Mimi. You love to see it. And I mean, the thing about having minus two all is uh, pretty, like, you're taking minus two to all as, like, e damage reduction is pretty good. Like, you're minusing the enemies. <laughs> the, the phrasing does not work at all, does it? But you're, you're, the enemy's doing uh, three damage to you, you're taking away two damage. That's pretty based. Like, I can't be, uh, I can't be upset about that. So even if he takes bonus from this, it doesn't kill, so guess what? Fuck it, we ball. This, this is, uh, when dodging actually matters. I can do both of these, right? I feel like I can, yeah. And so... Send him to hell feel pretty good about that. Now, I'm thinking to myself, do I want to take the minus three, or do I want to try to do... And yes, I could have buffed myself there for free. I am just now realizing that. I think we take the minus three, because we took the charisma, and I think we're feeling pretty good about that. As long as we don't take any sanity damage here, I think it's gonna be completely fine. Now, Admittedly, you could say, oh, Webb, do you have any idea how uh, unrealistic that is to not take sanity damage during a World of Horror playthrough? It was one event, and we were fine. And we've still got this for some reason, so... So the most that we can take is six for stamina. That's the most that we can take. As long as I click correctly, we will not take any sanity damage at all. Uh, if I click incorrectly, the most we can take is three. So never say never, but the most the lighthouse can deal us in this situation is three, uh, is six three. So as long as I heal over six, uh, we're completely fine. And I mean, this is just, it's the whole fucking sweep of uh, attack speed. I think we're only missing, like, as far as generic attack speeds go, we have them, but, like, we're missing, uh, deft handling for guns or whatever. I would really like to see this with, uh, like, against a Takashi, but I don't know if we're actually fighting Takashi or not. Because I have not been paying attention. My ass has not been paying attention. True! Okay, so we're good. Minus three. Uh, tentatively we're good. We're good, we're good, and there's no Takashi fight? That's actually so sad. This would be so funny to see. Th listen, my one, like, wish list for World of Horror would be like, well, there's actually a lot of things in that wish list, but some sort of, like, sixth final mystery. Like, okay, Slay the Spire has Acts 1 through 3, and if you beat Act 3, that's beating the game. Nobody's gonna debate that. But if you want to go even further beyond... You can go to, what is it, is it called Act 4, or is it like the Hidden Act or whatever? I don't remember, but you can fight, like, at the end of Slay the Spire, you fight the heart, and then the damage that you deal to the heart is your score. But you can go beyond after that, and then you can actually fight the final boss, and it's a fight fight, you know? It's just like, I would love some sort of, like, final final act to, like, World of Horror, if that makes sense. That would be fantastic. Um, that would be absolutely amazing. I think that would be really good. Do we have anything that's gonna get me killed? Uh, no. If I'm remembering what these things do, and I might not be, I think we're completely fine. I think we've finished, and here's the thing, because we don't have Branded, 
even if I got both of the things wrong, we're okay. So I'm just gonna say Rumu Ghost, and it was correct. I can't believe Fat Rat being grabbed was on that list. That's nuts. But you can see I'm kind of hovering the mouse around the right part of the screen because that's where the flashlight thing would be. Did we not get Heart of Darkness? Was Light Source a Heart of Darkness, Andy? Huh. Interesting, interesting. Ah, oh, if only I finished uh, a few seconds faster, it would have been incredibly based. But uh, yeah, no, I think um, all in all, I'm really excited that the game got a release date. Um, I think that from the perspective of development, I'm a little skeptical. What I would say, though, is that I was always originally expecting the next update to be 1.0, and then 1.0 would come out and be, like, super buggy and stuff. But now what I'm expecting is sort of the alternate, uh, where we get the 1.0... Well, here's the thing. I was thinking, like, a few months ago that maybe we would get the 1.0 update on PC early, but it wouldn't be called 1.0. It would be, like, the beta test for 1.0, and then we would beta test it, and then it would get fixed, and then it would come out in summer, right? Uh, but now I'm thinking that basically happened, and so the game got delayed because it didn't have an official release date. So it's like, we're gonna get the 1.0 update, like, in summer, but it's not gonna be called the 1.0 update. And it's just gonna be like, here, here's all the new content, uh, help me find all the bugs so I can fix it. And I mean, honestly, listen, I ain't gonna criticize as a one-person team, I've gotten eight more billion hours of enjoyment out of the game, it's fine. Uh, I don't have a right to complain, at least. So, you know, stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.